Good morning, this is Morning Prayer for Thursday, February the 10th, 2011. It's Year 1, Epiphany 5, and Week 5 of the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 145, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 to 17, and Zechariah, uh, the Song of Zechariah, Luke 1, verse 68 to 79. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia. Alleluia, you are faithful in all your words and loving in all your deeds. Alleluia. Psalm 145. I will give you glory, O God, my King. I will bless your name forever. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever. You are great, highly to be praised. Your greatness cannot be measured. Age to age shall proclaim your works, shall declare your mighty deeds, shall speak of your splendor and glory, and tell the tale of your wonderful works. They will speak of your terrible deeds and recount your greatness and might. They will recall your abundant goodness, age to age shall ring out your justice. You are kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good you are to all, compassionate to all your creatures. All your creatures shall thank you, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign, and declare your might, O God, to make known to all your mighty deeds, and the glorious splendor of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. You are faithful in all your words, and loving in all your deeds. You support all those who are falling, and raise up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all creatures look to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open wide your hand, grant the desires of all who live. You are just in all your ways, and loving in all your deeds, and you are close to all who call you, who call on you from their hearts. You grant the desires of those who fear you. You hear their cry and you save them. You protect all who love you, but the wicked you will utterly destroy. Let me speak your praise. Let all peoples bless your holy name forever, for ages unending. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, you are faithful in all your words and loving in all your deeds. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 1 through 17. Arise and shine, for your light has come. The glory of Yahweh is rising upon you. Though darkness still covers the earth, and dense clouds enshroud the peoples, Upon you, Yahweh, now dawns, and God's glory will be seen among you. The nations will come to your light, and the leaders to your bright dawn. Lift your eyes and look around. They are all gathering and coming to you, your daughters and your sons. Journey from afar, escorted in safety. You will see them and beam with joy. Your heart will swell with pride. The riches of the sea will flow to you, and the wealth of the nations will come to you. Camel caravans will cover your roads, the dromedaries of Midian and Ephah. Everyone in Sheba will come, bringing gold and incense, and singing the praise of Yahweh. All the flocks of Kedar will be gathered to you. The rams of Naboth will serve you. They will be acceptable offerings on my altar to glorify the splendor of my temple. Who are these who float aloft like clouds, like doves to their roosts? They are vessels assembling along the coast, with ships from Tarshish leading the way, to bring your children from far away, carrying their silver and gold to the honor of Yahweh your God, the Holy One of Israel who graced you with splendor. Foreigners will rebuild your walls, and their rulers will serve you. Though in my anger I struck you down, I will restore you in my favor, 
and have compassion upon you. Your gates will be open night and day, they will never be shut, inviting the wealth of the nations with their rulers being led in procession. All nations and realms not serving you will perish, they will be utterly destroyed. The glory of Lebanon will come to you with cypress, pine, and fir to adorn my holy sanctuary, to honor the place where I stand. The descendants of your oppressors will approach you bending low. All who despised you will bow down at your feet. They will call you the city of Yahweh, Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Once you were hated and neglected, with no visitors passing through. But I will make you acclaimed forever, and a source of everlasting joy. You will suckle the milk of nations, and be nursed at the breasts of foreign rulers. Then you will learn that I, Yahweh, am your deliverer. Your Redeemer is the Mighty One of Leah, Rachel, and Jacob. Rather than bronze, I will bring you gold, and rather than iron, I will bring you silver. Bronze in exchange for wood and iron in exchange for stone. And I will appoint peace to govern you, and integrity to counsel you. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the Holy Church of God, that it may be filled with truth and love. For Joe and Tom and Alan, and for all of our church leaders, and for all of the holy people of God. For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease, and all may be one as you and the Father are one. For peace in Jerusalem and in the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples. For a blessing on all human labor and for the right uses of creation, that the world may be freed from poverty and famine and disaster. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, especially Stephen Michael. For all who suffer, especially Dan and Joe. For refugees and prisoners, and for all who are in danger, that they may be relieved and protected. For our enemies, and for those who wish us harm, for all whom we have injured or offended. And for all the dead, for all who died in the communion of your church, and those whose faith is known to you, that with St. Francis and St. Clair and all the saints, they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush towards Christ, that God who has begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who have asked our prayers, and for your intentions. <clears throat> Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Save us as, forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, blessed are you, God of Israel. Alleluia. The Song of Zechariah. Blessed are you, God of Israel. You have come to your people and set us free. You've raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old that you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, will be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give the people knowledge of salvation by forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. 
Alleluia. You have raised for us a mighty Savior. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh my soul. Add glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we could ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.